All right, got a bit of a yarn for you. Uh, this one happened a couple of mango seasons ago. I've never told this story, so this will be a first. So, this happened, I was trucking out sort of, we'll just call it Western Queensland, right? I won't, won't name towns or anything like that. I won't give anything away for legal reasons. But I'm out there. It's getting pretty late in the day and the old fairy tale book's not looking too flash so I decided to call it and pull up for the night. So I'm rolling into town. There's only one pub in town, right? So not a lot of choice. So I wheel in, pull over and um, head over to have a look and see what's going on. So they got Tucker there but the publican, real short, weird looking bloke, you know, like that grab my strong hand chat, like one of them sort of blokes, you know, you don't really want him touching your palmy, so I decided to give the old dinner a swerve and just go straight for the, the liquid dinner, there's a steak and egg in every beer, so they say, so that was the plan, so I'm sitting there having a couple of beers and, and talking to a couple of locals and they're telling me the history and it's a bit of a shady sort of spot, uh, mainly for there's like stories of people going missing, you know, just gone. And the last one was about a month earlier to me getting there, and it was a uh, one of those hippie camper vans with a heap of girls in it. There was four four girls travelling doing the big lap of Australia, and uh, they got to that town and boom, gone. So anyway, we are just talking shit and having a few beers. And uh, got to that point in the night where, you know, you got to break the seal. So having a bit of a scout around, trying to see where the dunny is. And I couldn't find it. So I just got up and went for a walk out the back. I'm thinking, old country pub. It's probably an old long drop or, you know, one of the outside outhouses. So having a scout around, couldn't see nothing. So I head back towards the, the pub. I see this door off to the right hand side. So there's no toilet signs anywhere. I'd be fucked where people go for a piss, but probably under a mango tree or something. But anyway, I walk over to that and my like, god, oh, it sort of moves. It's not proper locked, but it's definitely not unlocked. Anyway, I just pulled it. Door opens up. It's just pitch black. There's nothing in there. So I'm like, feel it in the usual spots, you know, for the light switch, I find it, ding, flick it on, and what I seen was just disturbing, so in, it's sort of like underneath a Queenslander house sort of set up, you know, so pretty high ceilings, big rafters going across, and there's a chain going across that way with ropes coming down. And there's the girls. There's four girls hanging from their arms are tied up. They're still alive. But like probably their feet are dangling there, I don't know, three, four foot off the ground, maybe. I didn't have a tape on me, but anyway. And then so I'm like, oh, making sure they're okay. The publican walks around the corner. I'm like, holy shit mate, what's going on here? And he grabs the dress of one of the girls lifts it up and has a bit of a lick. I'm like, block your ears, kids. That's as much detail as I'll go into. I'm like, what are you doing? So, boom, I put a big one on him, dropped the shoulder, got him on the ground, yelling out to people to come in and help me out. So, anyway, end up getting this publican tied up, drag him outside, get the girls down from the roof, call the coppers. So, sitting there, this went on quite a while. Um, so yeah, the girls are okay, so ring an ambulance, they, they get taken away. I'm waiting for the cops to get there, so just guarding this sicko. The copper rocks up and starts talking to him, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, oh sweet, and he goes, just go help yourself, get a beer, just pour one. I'm like, yeah, right eh? So anyway, we go behind the bar and we're taking advantage of the fact that good on us, you know, we just saved these young girls from this weirdo, so I think we're on our second or third, 
and the publican just waltzes back into the bar, walks behind the bar. I'm like, what is going on here? What are you doing? He goes, nothing, mate. Just don't worry about it. Mind your own business. I'm like, I'm not going to mind my own business. What the fuck is going on? So I run over to the copper. I'm like, what are you doing, mate? Lock him up. Take him away, the sick bastard. He goes, no, nah, mate. Nah, just carry on. On with your day. I'm like, no, no, that's that's not going to fly. And he goes, there's nothing we can do, mate. I'm like, what do you mean nothing you can do? We caught him in the act. He goes, mate, you got to understand there's nothing legal that we can do about that. I'm like, how? That is not consensual. Obviously, they're tied up. And he drops his glasses down, looks at me dead in the eye, and he goes, mate, the publican's got a liquor license. Go home. <laughs>